and this is Abdul from awahees.com and you'll have to excuse my voice a little bit guys because I've caught the nasty old flu but hopefully you can still hear me quite clearly now I'm actually doing this video especially for my friend Dorothy Mathias I think I pronounced that right okay and she wants you to actually know um, how you can integrate MLSP into Aweber so when people fill in the system campaigns that lead information goes into the Aweber list rather than into the built-in MLSPs list so I'm just going to walk you through briefly of exactly how you want to do that and let's get started so obviously we're logging into your mining system pro back office okay this is my uh, back office for MLSP then you want to go to accounts okay this is the first part of it right so then you go to accounts you want to go to my auto responders right so you're going to click on that and obviously the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done it is go and sign up for Aweber, your Aweber account okay but let's assume you've done that already and you've got an Aweber account it's all set up and all done and you're great okay now what you want to do okay you can watch the tutorials as well okay so if you get stuck or you know you don't understand something then just click you know, one of these whichever you want and then watch the instructional videos and just go through that. So anyway, what you do, you want to go to add new autoresponder, right? Obviously, you can see I've got a few already there, my ones. So you do add new autoresponder, you click that, and you want to put in an autoresponder name. Now, this is something that you're going to see only, okay? So as you can see, okay, I've got one here. That's what you're going to put in there. You can put in, uh, for example, for Dorothy, you can put in Dorothy list one. For example, what I tend to do, okay, uh, to stop confusions, is I put the list name that is on Aweber. So let's assume Dorothy list is called Dorothy list one. So we're going to do that, okay? Then you want to go to autoresponder service, and you want to choose whichever autoresponder you got. Obviously, I'm using Aweber, and uh, I know Dorothy's using Aweber as well. So we're going to choose Aweber for this. Now the list name you got to put in here, okay? You want to put in the exact list name that is in your Aweber account. So I'm just going to log in that into my Aweber. Uh, in fact, let me do that from Internet Explorer instead because uh, I've got it all cooking. And it's just saying me typing all that information out. There you go. <coughs> so basically, you want to open your Aweber account. And you want to log in. Right now, these are your lists, right? So let's assume you've created a brand spanking new list, uh, whatever that may be, okay? So you can just let's just, let's just choose a blog. Let's just make one up, in fact. For the sake of this, uh, I'm just going to use one of these. Let me see which one is not being used right now. Okay, so I can use any of the MLSP ones, all right? Because they're not being used. So I'm going to choose MLSP blog one, okay? Just to give you an example. MLSP blog one, okay? That's just an example, but remember it has to match your list name, okay? So I've matched it exactly MLSP blog one. And you can see MLSP blog one. Now what you're going to do is just click on add new autoresponder right so it should be in here now there we go see Dorothy list one okay well what I would normally do is name it the list name so that really I mean, that the autoresponder name should be MLSP blog one but for this example it doesn't really matter I'm just showing you okay now you've done that what you want to do okay if you want to go to my websites and then you want to go to MLSP system campaigns. Now you see all these 18 different campaigns, right? By default, they are directly going to. Well, I see these 18 different campaigns, right? By default, as I was saying, they are defaulted to go, go directly into MLSP. Uh, so we're going to go to MLSP's list. Now, how do you change this now? Okay, guys. So. Let's just pick, I don't know, famous in 60. You can just do this with any one of these. Okay, could it be the one of them? But you cannot do this, okay, guys, with 
your product campaigns. It's not available in that, right? And I'll show you why in a bit. So let's go back to system campaigns, right? And now what you want to do is you want to go over here, and you see this little uh, pen and paper thing, no pen. Click on that, and I'm going to do obviously I'm doing 25 marketing methods, and you want to choose your autoresponder from here. So you see, I've got directly list one now. If I select that and I opt in, it's going to go into my Aimable account as well, okay, as my leads on MLSP. And I'm, I'm actually going to show you this in a second, okay, but I'm not going to use directly list one. I'm going to use uh, my blog, okay. I'm going to keep that the same. But that is basically the method of changing your uh, list so it goes directly into Aimable rather than into MLSP's autoresponder. Now, before we go any further, uh, let me just go back to my autoresponders, okay, guys? Uh, it is very, very important, okay? Let me see if I can find the instructions. Right, it's very, very important that you do this before doing any of that, right? And I'll tell you why in just a second. Let me find that information for you guys. Right, you see this uh, Aweb campaign here, right? This has to be imported into your Aweb account, so you can get the whole list of default messages from within MLSP. So let me just go back to my Aweb, right? And for this example, I'm just going to create a brand new list and just give you a rundown of exactly what you want to do in your list in Aweb itself. So uh, let's do create a new list, okay? And I'm just gonna name it nothing. Just leave it as default, okay? It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna erase it afterwards. You fill in your information as you normally would. And what you wanna do, okay? First, actually, is you wanna go to uh, let me see where does this go? I think is it lists? No, it's not. This is follow up, right? Here we go. Right, you want to go to follow up, in your messages, go to follow up, and you want to paste that code we just copied, okay? So the code is actually in the instructions for Aweb, okay? Just look for the Aweb campaign code. Copy it exactly as it is, and paste it into messages, follow up, and then do load campaign. Now, I'm going to show you what that does. There you go, guys. Okay, This is what happens with that. You load up all your messages that are default in MLSP, okay, what people normally get through MLSP follow-ups, okay, and what you can do, you can edit them here if you like, or you can move them around, whatever you want, you can add your own, it's completely up to yourself, but you definitely want to have these messages in first, before you do any of that, otherwise what's going to happen is, when people opt into your list, okay, they're not going to get any messages back from you as an autoresponder message, so you definitely want to have these done first. Right. Did you see this little thing set up wizard? Okay, if you want to go through that, that's fine. You can do next, 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 do this, do this step, do this step. And you can carry on doing it. But for your list, okay, if you're just doing a list and you're not doing a form for a blog, like the, for example, let me show you. If I show you my blog. So let's get on my blog. <coughs> okay. Right, if you go on my blog, guys, you can see I've got this form, okay? This is an AWeb form, right? Unless you have this, okay, with the complete finished AWeb form, you will not see 100% in a set of wizard, okay? You'll probably finish about 95%, which is normal, so do not worry about it. Because I know Donald, he mentioned this to me quite a lot. Sorry guys. Uh, this is a more video you know, it's, it's actually a lead. Right, as I was saying before, I got that call. Sorry, sorry about that. You know, do apologize. But it was an important call. Um, as I was saying before the call, right? So, uh, this doesn't really matter unless you got a full form. And it, it will only go up to 100% when you've got the full form and everything done. When you get to this part, okay, the web form, that is when you're going to get to 
until you get there, okay, you completely done it, and you got all the information, it's, it'll probably be stuck at about 90 something percent. It's completely normal, so don't worry about it, Dorothy, because I know you asked me this over the phone, so no big deal, okay? Uh, let me see if there's anything else I've got to tell you about this. Uh, yesterday, actually, we got to do global fields as well. Uh, let me see. Right. This is another section which is very, very important, okay? What you want to do is you want to put your global fields in this, which uh, should be mentioned on here somewhere. Here we go. So just follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. It tells you exactly what to do. You know your brand. You put your brand name, YouTube, your domain, and whatever else. Okay, your domain is going to be a custom domain. If you register a custom domain, um, normally it's the Seven Figure Mastermind System something. So that's the default. So you can put that in there if you want. Right? That's your that's your default one. You got to put something in there anyway. Okay, but if you got a custom, well, like I have, my one is a uh, secret to your MLM success.com. So that's what I put in there. So just follow the instructions, pretty straightforward. And make sure you do this before you do anything else. So I'm just going to get back out of this now and I'm going to go back to my default list so I don't mess anything up. <coughs> and Right, as I was saying, this technique, okay, to get your leads to go directly into your Arab list does not work with your product campaigns because you haven't got this button, okay? You see this button there? Okay, that button is to start available in your products, so you cannot change that. So it's not, it's not possible at all because I remember Becky Adams, okay, who was another good friend of mine, uh, she posted. You know, one of our groups as uh, the secret uh, attraction marketing masters group, okay, with Diane Hockman and us, uh, about how to do that. And unfortunately, uh, you cannot do that, it's just not available, not in the products anyway, okay. It's only available in your system campaigns, as I just showed you. So, which is over here, okay, MSP system campaigns. So that, that's pretty much basically, now let me just give you a quick rundown in case you are confused anyway in the middle there, okay? Because I did go, go through quite a lot of bits and pieces and stuff. And hopefully you can still hear me even though I've had this nasty old cold. So I do apologize. But you can always, you know, rewind this video, pause it, watch it back over again and it should be cool. So, from the start again, make sure number one, okay, you've got your Arable list sorted. That's the first thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do, go to accounts, my autoresponders, and then you want to go and add a new autoresponder like we did, and you want to put a name, you want to choose a rubber, and you want to put your exact list name like we just showed you. So it's going to be, for example, like, okay. And once you put that in, you want to add a new autoresponder. So we've already done that with Dorothy, if you remember that one here. Then you want to go to my websites, system campaigns, and then you want to go to this button here. For any of these campaigns, it doesn't matter which one you want to choose. Okay, you can do all of them, one of them, it doesn't matter. So, I don't know, let's choose that one for example. And you can see, okay, it's on the account default. That is basically going to go directly into the MLSP one. And it's automatic follow up, and you got no control over it. So, you're going to click on that. And you're going to choose your list you just created, which was the list, yeah? And then you're going to do update settings. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to give you a quick example now, guys, okay? So you can actually see this in action working. So I'm going to show you the leads, what I've got. Okay. So the last lead I got was this one here. I'm going to actually blur these out, okay guys, so you can't see them. Because I don't want you getting personal information, obviously, okay? So you can see, okay, I've got a lead here. And I'm just going to give you the time, okay? And the date. So it's 
date is the 25th of the 4th, 2012, and the time is 12.28, 12 Central Standard Time. So you got an idea. <coughs> Let's go back. And what I'm going to do is, I've got this one, the 25 Marketing Method, set up. So it goes directly into my list, okay, which is my blog list, which is my primary list I used for getting leads into. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the preview, and I'm going to fill in the form. I'm going to make up all sorts of information. Oh God, I do apologize again. Another call. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I just keep getting these calls, you know, which I'm sure you, you really want yourself. Okay, when people call you, call you up, and they want to work with you. Okay, so I'm just on lead call I do apologize. I'm actually going to put that on silent now, because that is just not right. I'll get back to these people later on, they can leave me a message now. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm going to give you an example. So, I'm, I'm going to choose Dorothy for this example, okay? Since we're doing this especially for Dorothy. And we're going to fill in all main up information, okay? It doesn't really matter what it is. Okay, and I'm going to put any kind of phone number, and you're going to do watch the webinar. <coughs> right, we're not actually going to bother watching it, because I've seen these, and they're awesome. So we're going to close it now. And if you go to my leads, hopefully you should have already updated now. There we go, see? Dorothy has appeared in my lead system pro, okay, in their back office in the leads, as you can see. Okay, there we are, Dorothy, just not long ago. And um, I'm not sure if she would have appeared already in my list, because the list takes a bit longer. Uh, but let's have a look. I think she has, in fact. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. And she has, look. So Dorothy is in my Arab list as well, like guys. Can you see that? Name Dorothy, email Dorothy at gmail.com and she's actually in my autoresponder now and she's going to start receiving my autoresponder messages automatically. So, that is pretty much all there is to it. Okay, Dorothy, so I hope you, you know, understand that all and it's quite you know, straightforward to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, got a very bad cold. <coughs> but I love you guys, that's what I'm doing this video.